Hello everyone, today I'm back a sourdough bread. No need, no room, no follow any instruction like I did before, but it turned out perfect bread. Please come to the kitchen with me and I show you how. Welcome to Saigon Cook Trial Phone. I am Saigon Cook. So, this is on the ingredients. You want to check it, uh, the written recipe, in the description box below. So, um, and there are the timings there also. So, I took my starter out at about 12.45 p.m and I feed it then uh, at 4 o'clock I do the fit leaven and the auto leaves for all other ingredients so for the whole recipe I took out a little water and bread flour to feed the leaven I don't need to measure anything. I just make it uh, the consistency that uh, not loose, not runny, not tough. You will see when I'm done um, mixing, you will see. So the rest I put in the bone the rest everything and uh, I let it go the lupin and the otolis go for two hours I mix at four o'clock p.m. the auto leaves and the leaven and then okay let's see the consistency of the leaven when I mix it so after I'm happy with the consistency of my leaven I mix on the rest ingre ingredients together so that uh, it can be auto least you can see this today I'm back uh, turmeric bread so that is the yellow stuff is turmeric powder I don't know if you confused yet, but I measure on the recipe, and then I took out a little bit of water and a little bit of flour, bread flour, to fit the leaven, and the rest mixed to on together, and now they go rest for two hours if you want exactly 620 that means after about two hours so now it's the time to mix the leaven into the otolis flour Right now, I try to remove my leaven starter from the plastic bowl. I want to use this so that later I throw it away. I don't need to watch. Okay, first I use the chopstick to mix a little bit 
so that it don't stick into my hand so much now it's in the consistency I cannot do more with the chopstick so now the time I use my hands I just try to mix the leaven into the dough Normally at this stage, I use my kitchen aid to mix them, but today I'm lazy because I I am lazy to wash the bone later. So I decided to do by hand. I think at this point I am happy with this because I I feel that I cannot do anything more so I stop it and cover for so address So I let it go for about two hours. You can see the dough risen a little bit. Now I do my first uh, stretch and fold. You can see I do with no room at all. Normally, you know, I need to mix it. Uh, and then st go stretch and fold up to immediately and they uh, I do it at interval 30 45 minutes but today I when I miss done mixing I let it go for two hours now only now I do first stretch and fold You can see that I use the chapstick to help me so that it is dumb stick too much. I go like three times around the bone and that's it. And after 30 minutes I do the second stretch and fold and then about two hours later I uh, put them in the fridge because Slippy already is feeling so I put in the fridge and in the morning at 5.40 I, I took it out because I, I slept early last night and I got up early this morning so um, I took my dough out and after 20 minutes so that it's uh, cool or not so cold I do the lamination now first I wet my table and then uh, I stretch into rectangular and I wet my dough cutter as well So this is my lamination done and 
I will put in this um, container and I will do the coin phone up to after that so I cover and let it rest for 10 minutes and now I do the first koi koi foam you see my dough when I make it um, whole, uh, fold it it's a little and loose so no big deal I just pick it up and uh, fix it So the dough look very well, uh, look very good to me. So that's in my first coil phone, and I let it uh, go for one hour, and I do the second coil phone. The dough plays very well. So I let it rest for 20 minutes and I prepare the Benetton to shape the dough. I flower my surface and I dump the, the dough onto the surface and I flower my hands And I stretch it out a little bit and I phone up and then phone to the left, phone to the right, continue that way one more time and at the end there I will phone it backwards. At this point, I need uh, a flower to help me. Flower and uh, door cutter. I tighten the surface a little bit and I will put in the panetone for now upside down okay the I see the dough sit very well but during the time waiting for back for packing I uh, uh, wash I wet my uh, dough and do a little phone there to tighten more the surface underneath I 
turn the other side and do the same thing before I do that I uh, wet the dough so that it has uh, something wet to stick to otherwise the dry dough prevented it Alright, so I um, go hitting the oven and back my oven back uh, the sourdough at 475 degree Fahrenheit. So I set my oven to heat it and. Uh, When I waiting for the oven is heated, I put my uh, dough, my dough with uh, inside the Benetton into the freezer. And now, almost time, I brought out the dough and I shape it a little bit so that it tighten more. And uh, this time I will use the rice flour to cover on top because I want the final product, the final bread uh, will be white and when and where the door open it will be different color a contrast a nice contrast that's it I take the um, my Dutch oven out and I place the dough inside I bought these new gloves, oven proof, heat proof, and very nice. I love it. And I back first for 20 minutes, and I lower for 25 for 15 minutes. I suppose to to take the lid. Uh, of the second stage but I forgot because I'm back something else uh, in the oven at the same time but it uh, now is the is it's okay cross cross the outside the ear is so high the crumb is tender and a lot of horns I think people are looking for, for, the, for the big horns like that and I get I got my husband to taste it and he loved it so this is a successful bag with no runes did I tell you ever that uh, I bag my sourdough put down salt and they turn out great every time thank you for watching please um, like share my video and subscribe thank you see you next time bye bye